everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're going to play a little bit of World of Tanks here. Um, playing the KV-1. Uh, I was just doing that Motherland friggin' op, going around, killing shit. But this was like a particularly very good game for me. Um, I didn't get like a whole lot of damage points because it's like a lower tier game. But it was still a pretty good game for me anyways. So, I decided to go right on this map and little behold I was like oh my god everybody on this team went right and I'm like F well left on their side right so I'm like all right let's play the game of patience I got a hill in front of me they have to cross it in order to get to me if the other guy if my team decides to like rush well that's kind of like their problem I'm hey man just you got to be patient and that's one of the things I've learned about playing world of tanks is patience right uh, try not to rush into battle and just play your position very well, you know, like, yes, I am a heavy, yes, I should be up there, and here I am telling this guy, dude, did you not see everybody else just die, like, hang back a little bit, and this guy, like, he goes up there, so I'm like, all right, well, there's not too many people left around here, so I'm gonna, like, kind of protect his ass, and here I go, and I take a shot at this guy, I'm like, bam, fuck, I'm like, oh, man, seriously, I missed that? So I hear I go for redemption, and this is my first kill. Boom! Oh man, feels good, feels good. I was like, you little twerp. So I'm just biding my time here, and I think I tell this guy, you know, you really should back off a little bit, you know? And so I decided to start pulling up beside him, and I'm like, alright, let's see what I can do here. So I decided to park myself behind these two tanks. I figured, okay, well, they can't really flank me from the right, so I got my kind of right side a little bit protected. And then this guy comes out, and I'm like, shit, I hit the dirt, really? And I'm like, all right, not again. I won't hit the dirt twice. Boom, gown. So there's kill number two, all right? So I keep playing my game of patience and, you know, just doing what I got to do, checking my flanks and... Oh man, I was like so stoked. I'm like, yeah, right on. This is going so well. So here I am, just waiting along, checking out the sides. And this guy decides to come start popping his head back out. I'm like, oh man, I almost friggin' had him. He's got like a little, little bit of tick of health left. I'm like, oh man, this is great. So I'm watching this guy over here get rocked, <laughs> and still checking my side to make sure I'm not gonna get flanked, right? So I decided. Eventually, I know I'm going to go up there and I'm going to like get sick of just bouncing back and forth here. This guy pokes his head out again. I think that's what encouraged me to go. I'm like, oh, you're still around here? All right, I'm going to go for you. So I get up here and I get tracked. So I don't know if it's the artillery that tracked me or the guy that's up on that hill. I'm not quite sure. So I kind of scope him out a little bit, find where this guy's going. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to try to Ah, just over his head. So I'm like, you little bastard, you shot me, and I'm like going to get you back. So I figured he wasn't going to come out all the way. Bam! There's kill number, what, three now? So I'm like, fuck it, whatever. This guy over here, he bounced his shot off me, and then I went for that guy there. So there's kill number four. So now I'm like, fuck, man, I'm almost dead. So <laughs> I'm like, screw it. After I got nailed by the artillery, I'm like, let's give her. Uh, you know, I got nothing left to lose, right? I missed that shot, and he misses his shot, and I'm thinking, oh, right on, I still got a chance here. So, there the artillery misses his shot, and I'm like, oh, man, right on, this is great. So I keep giving her, keep giving her, and I'm like, ah, oh, do I go for this guy, or do I kind of go and, like, spot the artillery, and hopefully, like, I don't get hit by him, right? So here's my moment of decision, I'm like, Fuck it. Alright, let's go. I started giving her shit, and I'm like, oh man, I hope I'm making the right move. And then, I don't know why I didn't stop there and I just fired like that. That was pretty dumb of me. I could have had a really nice shot on him and maybe actually killed the RD myself. So I managed to get at least one shot off on the guy, right? I'm like, ah, oh, yes. But somebody else goes and takes him out, so I was like, fuck it. Alright, let's turn around. Let's go after this guy, since he's like the only one really kind of near me. The other guy is like on the other side of the map, and I find that out like in a little bit. But still, I decided to go over here. That guy finally got his ass kicked, and I was like, alright, well, hopefully I can get over here before the sniper guy gets him, right? So, I think the sniper guy kind of gives up, and this guy retreats back. 
So I'm like telling the sniper guy, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go bait him out and we're gonna try to like screw around with him, right? So I decided to creep up the side of the hill and you notice how I'm like creeping up and then I'm gonna turn my, my tank here. That way I'm not trying to expose any of my tank so he can get a shot off on me in a sense. So I managed to just spot him at the same time I get detected. He's like, oh yeah, you're right there. And you know, he decides to go after me. So I don't think he sees the other sniper tank just yet. I don't know why the sniper tank just decided to go over like that. He could have just plopped off the edge at any moment and friggin' shot him and killed him, right? So I know he's kind of like really focused on trying to get me. So I let him come up the hill and bam, shoot first, ask questions later. All right, so there's kill number five, and that was my all my kills. So we go, and I try to drive towards the other one, and I'm like, oh, well, I'll never get there, but I'll kind of, like, watch the action on the minimap. So that's pretty much all what I did is I watched all the action on the minimap while I kind of, like, drove towards it because there was, like, pretty much, well, no way in hell I was ever going to get there to even just get a shot off, right? So whatever. Ah oh, man, I was so proud. I was like, yes man, this is an awesome, awesome match. I played everything very well. I used the key thing in this game is patience. Like I said, you really, really, really got to learn patience. Um, sometimes jumping out there is just not the what you want to do. And even if you are playing like kind of like I'm like top tier in this in this game, it, you still have to play patience. Um, I'm telling you, I have died so many times, <laughs> and it's just by rushing out there and getting into shit that I probably shouldn't have gotten into in the first place, and it's like, alright, I'll just like, you know, hold back and see how this game flows, and in the last couple of games I played afterwards, I was doing kind of the same thing, and I was kind of getting the same results, so... Um, here you're gonna see I didn't get like a shitload of experience, but you know, hey, whatever. It was kind of like a low tier game and I played it very well, so I decided to do a video on it. Woohoo! So, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, so, I'll probably post more of these videos. Peace and take care.